Giving and receiving gifts in family is meaningful as we acknowledge what each member brings to the whole. What about our global family of faith? Through Mennonite Church Canada International Witness, connections are made and gifts are shared as we, within relationships, determine what God has given us to share with each other. God has given the global church all it needs to become communities of grace, joy, and peace, so that God's healing and hope flows through us to the world. What gifts have you been given to share this year? Our Mennonite Church Canada congregations offer gifts of prayer and finances to partners through Africa Inter-Mennonite Mission. Our partners have told me how thankful they are to know they can depend on us being there, especially during hard times. We give and receive friendship and the opportunity to share burdens and learn from each other. Our brothers and sisters around the world, including Africa, have gifts that we need here in Canada, but these gifts aren't easy to accept in our individualistic culture. They're gifts like slowing down to listen more and speak less, making decisions based more on what the group needs and less on what I want, including prayer and meetings in our work days to hear what God may be saying, giving generously and even sacrificially, not just of our excess, but of our daily bread, we are a clearer refle reflection of Christ when we're together. Can we build relationships to the point of being able to accept the challenging gifts our partners have to offer us? As a teacher here at Messareti Christos Seminary, one of the gifts I bring is the gift of a different cultural perspective. As an Anabaptist, from the West with special training in spiritual formation, together with 27 years experience as a pastor, I'm very happy to be able to share my faith and my experience with new pastors and leaders in MKC. Our time here has been one of mutual sharing. We share what we've learned in Ethiopia with Mennonite Church Canada through prayer letters, witness support network meetings, sermons and articles. What does Anabaptism look like from an Ethiopian perspective? We're inspired by their commitment to peace amidst violence, prayer, prison ministry, and evangelism. Our hope is that we will continue to find ways to share our gifts and experiences with one another so we can all be part of strengthening the global church. Just last year and the year before, we have received the gift of teaching from Derek Sermon of Conrad Grable to teach our Thai leaders how to read the Bible through the land of Jesus. From this experience, our Thai leaders were hungry for more. So AMBS come along and we have students from Thailand and Laos study together just last fall. And Christine will talk about this. Last September, we have passed on the gift of training to 20 students in the AMBS Journey program as they study online from Thailand and Laos. We took eight students from Thailand to Laos for our first meeting with Jonat Yang. The first week of February 2024, we will host our second meeting in Kanken, Thailand. Last year, right at this time, I was able to be a part of MC Canada's learning tour to Thailand. It was three weeks of wonderful hospitality from the Friends of Grace congregations. So, I came back this year to share my gift of teaching English to students of their new Bible school and set up English learning centers in the Isan district and also one by Chiang Mai in the Song district. And in many other ways, gifts are being shared around the world. In South Korea, Philippines, Colombia, Burkina Faso, and more. Gifts are being shared from one place to another. God is equipping God's people for God's work. 
How are you in your congregation giving and receiving gifts from the Global Church? Talk to your regional church engagement staff to find out how you can lean into these relationships and become part of the Global Gift Exchange.